Right, OK, we went and uh, through the England team what we thought it was going to be. Bellingham obviously playing in the 10. Saka, I think, obviously plays on the right-hand side. So, so Kane plays four, three, through the three. middle. No, I'm going... 4-2-3-1. 4-3-3-1. Four, 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 two, four, two, yeah. Right. So you're going Declan Rice. It's one of the three that I mentioned, Walton, well, Mott, Maynard, well, which one? Jones. Me, mm. Wharton. And you think Gareth will go with... Maynard. Right, OK. Um, Saka plays on the right. Yep. Bellingham plays in the 10. Kane plays as the 9. And then it's the left-hand side, isn't so, it? So no Phil Foden. Where you've got Foden, Grealish and Gordon, who are all desperate to get in the team. I don't think Grealish gets in the team. I think Gordon probably will end up being the wild card off the bench. So Foden starts on the left-hand side. See, I would. You can only play eleven players. Yes, but I would, I would tweak it because I think Phil Foden is better playing in the ten position. So where you really? put Bellingham? Because I, I then you said about maybe playing if it going four two three one, then I'd play him with Declan Rice and Bellingham just in front as of the of the eight. Sorry, right? so, so, sorry, you need to clarify this right because yes. you've only got eleven players. Yes, well listen to so me. So you're playing a back four. Yes, right. Then you're playing three midfielders. I'm playing. I'm going four two three one. Right, right, so who are your two holders? Two holders will be Declan Rice yeah. and Jude Bellingham in inverted commas. Wow. Because... He hasn't I, played there all year. I'll, I'll tell, you, tell you for why. I want to get as many attacking players on the pitch as we possibly can because that is our strength. We ain't going to go through winning one nils and two nils because we're not going to keep clean sheets, right? He, 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 we're talking about what Gareth's going to pick. No, but I'm saying what I would pick. All right, OK. Yes, so... You're not going to get the chance to do it, you know. If you mean. play your four, right, then... What happens is when we're in possession, then Jude Bellingham can go and do his marauding and, and, and go his uh, attacking positions, link up Phil Foden, link up with Bakao Saka. Then Carl Walker comes in, John Stones goes into midfield, and then you have you have your three at the back. And you still have your overload in midfield. You get protection with John Stones and uh, like he does when he's at Pomp for Man City with uh, Declan Rice. Then you have Bellingham, Foden... Saka, Gordon, Harry Kane up front. So you've got Phil Foden in the ten. You know you're playing four two three one. So Bellingham, Walton, Maynard, and Jones are not going. Are not going to play. No, not in in that four two three one. Not well, you're playing, playing France in a quarter final. You're going to play one hole in midfield. No, player. no, because if you listen, what I'm saying is John Stones goes into there when we're in position, and then we're not Jude Bellingham. Uh, he stats at Real Madrid. He starts off. Like, they call it high intensity presses. Not just in the opposition's box, but he does it. It's 50 50 for Real Madrid. People didn't uh, realize the defensive stuff that he did for Real Madrid, obviously, when he was on his uh, left hand side. But I don't think Gareth is going to be as adventurous as that. I think what you're saying is I think he will play two actually holding midfield players. And a lot of people are saying about Trent Alexander Arnold maybe playing in now, or if you're going to play a three, because as you said in the um, group stage games, you're going to have to break these teams down. So you might put in there for your passing range. But it's how it's how brave Gareth's going to be um, on the left hand side because you, you you mentioned Phil Foden when I've seen him play for Man City is far better far more productive in the ten and he's brilliant in those tight spaces because Man City obviously have to break totally down. absolutely and I think that is one of the key facets you've got to get out of him but it doesn't matter where he starts on the pitch is where he ends up and that's what Gareth said in the press conference the last time he spoke to the media. You know, the idea of him actually being able to drift in. Bellingham drifts out to the left when he plays for Real Madrid. Those two almost sort of interchangeable in the system that I was coming up with. You know, I think Fod Foden's got to play. Of course, he's got to play. Phil Foden, he's been terrific all season. But you've got, he's got to fit into a system. The, the, there has to be a system. There has to be security. And, and I'm, I'm basing my selection on what I think Gareth will actually do, do rather than what I would like him to do. And I go back, and I always go back to this game. England against Hungary. Um, it was in the World Cup qualifiers in 2022. I remember doing the game. It was October 2021. And he had had a load of attention for not picking Mountain Foden in the same team and everyone wanted to pick Mountain Foden in the same team as along the, uh, alongside uh, Declan Rice. He played them as two eights in a 4-3-3 formation. They got overrun, completely overrun, changed it at half-time because it just wasn't working. And ever since then, he's always gone back to being cautious and that's why I think he'll do it again. We'll hear from him next. There's such a wealth of talent that England have got in certain areas and such a, a lack of talent in some other areas. Not necessarily even a lack of talent, but a lack of tried and tested players that you can call upon. You know, that midfield area, 
They've named Alexander-Arnold, Conor Gallagher, Jones, Mainu, Rice and Wharton as the six midfielders in the squad. But that's just the ones that are going to play deeper, isn't it? I mean, because obviously Madison is a midfielder, but he's you know, in the forward section. I think actually the, the players that are at risk are really interesting. With all due respect, I think James Trafford is going to miss out. Yeah. That's one of the, the, the seven that I think are, 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 is going to go. I think... Definitely one of the one of the one of the backs is, is, is going to go. The centre backs. I don't think Lewis Dunk's going to go. You don't think Dunk's going to no, go? No, because obviously in the uh, last game that he played, then he didn't equip himself particularly well. I've got Shaw doesn't go, Konza doesn't go, and one of Kwanza, Gahey, and Dunk. I've got um, Jarrell Kwanza doesn't go. I've got Dunk doesn't go, and I've got Luke Shaw like obviously question mark. He's gonna. He's injured, basically, isn't he? It's, it's a massive, massive gamble. Here's so, another one for you. I don't think Madison goes. No, I've got that as well because at the end of the season, his form wasn't particularly great. For Spurs. He's brilliant at the beginning of the season, hit the ground running, had great little understanding with Son. Then he obviously got his injury. Then when he come back, I think the way that Spurs were playing, and I said it when I was doing the co-commentaries, when they was having the inverted fullbacks coming in, obviously Porro run side, Udogi from the other, James Madison didn't have any... A sort of space area to play in, and he started dropping deeper and deeper so I think he's form dropped off so I don't think he's going and probably unluckily Jared Bowen I don't think that he'll be in the squad Okay, interesting um, I've underscored Eberichi Eze I personally would have him in the squad mm. because he was brilliant at the end. and again in tight areas you're going to need somebody to break yep. teams down and even if he's obviously on and the bench and that's why I think uh, when I've said I've underscored him I think it's a big week for him I think if he can play well in these two friendlies he gets on the plane and I think he Bowen Madison Grealish they're all under the microscope this week yeah I think probably Jack Grealish has got enough in the bank for what he's done before so um, maybe and, and again again he gives you that tight area if he comes on left hand. Sometimes I want to see him go on the outside a little bit more because he obviously comes in because he's right footed. But again, he he might be that maverick that you're going to need in that last 30 minutes. Does one of those midfielders m- miss out? So I'm looking at, I think Curtis Jones. I've got him not going. But it, it, Curtis Jones would have been in the squad and probably playing in the position that Maynou played in the March internationals, if he was if he was fit, he was excellent for Liverpool. Yeah, but he, he absolutely excellent. He can play in the three if you want him to play in the three. He can play as the holder on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.